brother was always, um, from as long as I can remember, like he was my brother, but he was my father's figure. Like he was a dude from an athletic standpoint as well as a street standpoint. Um, and I kind of always wanted to pat myself behind. Um, but we all we ever had for real. Like, like we had a hell of a mom, you know, but at the end of the day, like raising two boys. Um, Three jobs. Right, that's always a, a, a complex situation. So um, my brother was a dude that I did everything with. Like I tell people all the time, like if I, if I did something, I did it with my brother. Um, so from his incarceration for six years of my life, two federal bids for him, three years both times, I feel like six, six years of my life I was lost. Um, and I was lost from the standpoint of the person that I respected the most in my life um, with the exception of my mom and my grandma who just passed, like that was out of my life for six years. So I feel like six years of my life don't really exist. I think I think coming up is kind of for us. It was the same probably for any any anybody black coming up from the hood. You know, I think we all got the same story. You know, struggling, lights getting turned off. You know, no cable. I don't think we had cable back then. Yeah. You know. Phone getting turned off, getting kicked out. Home anyway, so. <laughs> you know, what what in the house enough, you know, just a note, but getting kicked out of different places. Um, like every month you're getting kicked out. You know what I mean? So mom working three jobs, um, you know, little petty jobs, you know, restaurants and whatever. So it, it, I think our our situation the same. You know, if I go out and do some some dirt, do something wrong, you know, my brother go out with me, do the same wrong thing. It, it's, he escaped the penitentiary, you know, through the grace of God, I didn't, you know what I mean? I didn't twice. So, you know, his situation was no different than mine. It's my brother, like he said, we all we had. So what he did, I did. What he went, I went, you know. I tried football, he tried football. It didn't work for me, it didn't work for him, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I tried school, he tried school. It didn't work for me, it didn't work for him, you know. I did street, a whole, too many street things. He did the same thing, too many street things. You know, I got caught, he did You know, it, it was the same story. You know what I mean? And, and I think it's just like a successful athlete um, who has a, a brother who's doing, you know, they were doing the same thing and a successful athlete was blessed to get through and make it, you know, to the NFL or the NBA. Um, and his brother probably went to prison for a long time. It, it's, it's the same story in, in every hood, whether it's New York, whether it's Florida, you know, whether it's Georgia. And, you know, I think that's really why Plow's music is what it is, you know. He gives you, if you've never been to the hood, you're gonna see it through his music. If you've been there, you're gonna be able to relate through his music. So it's kind of like a horror picture, you know, in a sense. He, he attracts people that are not really familiar with the horror and they accept it and embrace it. And he attracts people that, you know, live in the horror. You know, so it, it really he's covered both areas, just being him, just giving you what he's been through and what he knows.